Hey guys, welcome to Ellie Mae Smoke Barbecue. Today, we've got a real treat in store for you. We are going to smoke a cheesecake. Um, when we're finished, it's going to be a cherry cheesecake, and basically what we're gonna do is just take some cherry pie filling, dump it over the top. But I've already uh, <clears throat> prepared a few things um, to shorten the video. I was afraid that if I went step by step that uh, the video would be too long. But what I've basically done if you can see it here, this is a nine inch spring form pan. This is a graham cracker crust. Basically, I cheated. I already bought the graham crackers pre-crushed. And then that's about a cup and a half. It's got a stick of butter in it, a pinch of salt, and a teaspoon or so of cinnamon. And then a uh, quarter cup of sugar. <clears throat> so melted the butter in the microwave, did it in 10 second uh, intervals just to make sure we didn't make a big mess. And basically, once it's got that butter melted, uh, incorporated into the rest of the stuff, stirred it up real good, made sure that the graham crackers were uh, evenly coated with the butter. And then uh, this is a non-stick pan, so we'll see how that works out when we're finished. But basically, put the graham crackers in there and just kind of formed it in there and uh, used my hands to initially pat down the, the bottom of it and kind of built a wall. I mean, it's, the artwork's not that great on there, so it's just kind of a, I don't know, you can, you can definitely see it's not, not even. But anyway, kind of a wall, and then took a glass with a flat bottom and just really packed it in there tight, and then threw it in the refrigerator for about an hour. And then, uh, in the meantime, I've got the base prepared here, and what is in here is basically 24 ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, and again, a cup and a half of sugar. So what we're going to do is we're going to cream that up really good and then uh, we're going to add this which is a cup of sour cream and then we're going to throw about a teaspoon maybe a tablespoon of vanilla in mix that all up and then we've got four eggs in the in the black bowl there that we're going to incorporate one egg at a time using a spatula or a spoon so we're going to go ahead and get started get that out of wherever that was on this we're just going to kind of cream it on like a medium uh medium speed i don't have the big fancy KitchenAid paddle blenders and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm using the handy dandy Hamilton Beach mixer. So we're gonna start out on probably like one or two, just to kind of, actually we're just gonna go on one. Seems to get it done. We're just gonna kind of cream it together um, and, and try and do this without making a mess. Now one thing very, very important that I haven't mentioned yet is the cream cheese has been sitting out for a couple hours. You want this at room temperature because if you don't, you'll never get this to mix very well. It will be a battle. So we're just going to keep taking the cream cheese, throwing it in with our handy dandy little spatula here. You can see this blender's struggling a little bit, but I don't want to go any faster because it's going to throw this stuff everywhere. So we'll just kind of take our time, cream it up. Let's go ahead and stop it, get this in here, move it. This is on one, you can see it's doing a great job. And like I said, key to this is room temperature. Um, and the eggs as well are at room temperature. I don't know what difference that would make if it wasn't, but they're at room temperature as well. They've been sitting there about 30 minutes. So we basically got this nice and creamed. this and just kind of fold everything back down to the center and then uh, I'm gonna kind of get some of this stuff off here this is really sticky stuff and then we're going to take the uh, sour cream and dump it in and mix it up and then once we get the sour cream incorporated we'll throw the vanilla in there and get it incorporated but these little miniature spatulas really come in handy when you're scooping out a measuring cup that's for sure we got that in there set that in the sink out of the way I'm just gonna kind of move it around a little bit just to help out the procedure and then uh, clean that off get this all nice and incorporated again blender on one This has a turbo button on it, so if you, if you want to go a little bit faster, you can push that. But, I mean, as you can see, we're on number one. 
this is creamy, really, really nice. good right where we're at so stop that there for now then we'll add the vanilla and give it another little whip and like I said I'm gonna add a tablespoon of vanilla this is imitation of vanilla it's not the real deal but it'll work measure out one tablespoon of vanilla and then uh, Again, just kind of start the process with the little spatula. Oh, this smells amazing. And then again, number one. successful we're going to be about getting everything but close enough Goes out way. and then we're going to take one egg at a time and fold it in we're not going to use the blender because you don't want to beat the egg and fluff the eggs because if you beat them and fluff them too much the cheesecake will poof up and just crack so we got that in there we're basically going to Add the eggs one at a time and fold them in. So there's egg number one. And I'm going to switch to the big daddy spatula to speed the process up. Get that out of the way. And then like I said, we're just gonna fold it in ever so slightly till it's mixed in with the mixture. This is really, really creamy. I'm getting some stuff all over the place up here out of the way. You just keep folding until it's good and incorporated. Basically till you can see almost no yellow. And then we're going to Move to the second egg. Same thing. Fold it in. Now we're going to be smoking this today on the uh, drum smoker, and we're going to be using cherry wood. Um, so I figure since we're doing a cherry cheesecake, we'd go ahead and just use the cherry wood to give it that awesome sweet cherry flavor. And we're using a Royal Oak Lump Coal as well. And I think we're going to run it around 300 degrees. 325 degrees. I'm thinking it's probably going to take about an hour and a half. And then we'll pull it out uh, of the smoker and just let it rest for a minute or two, and then probably actually more than a minute or two, but um, <clears throat> probably about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then throw it in the fridge for a few hours to really cool down. And then we'll pull it out and top it, and then uh, slice into it and see where we're at. Egg number two. Egg number three. Good. 
then we're just gonna dump bag number four in there. Get this out of the way. Get this folded in. And then we're also putting a water pan in the smoker as well to keep moisture in the air because I'm afraid if you don't, the cheesecake will dry out and crack. You really don't want that. So I know that we, you know, standard procedure when you bake them in the oven is to throw them in a roasting pan or something, some sort of a shallow pan, and then foil the spring pan and then uh, throw water in there just to keep moisture in the air so it doesn't crack. So we're going to, obviously, not going to do that procedure, but we are going to throw a water pan in there just to uh, kind of give it the same effect, keep, keep moisture in the air, humidity in the air, and hopefully this thing won't crack. So now we've got all this stuff nice and incorporated into the mix. Going to switch places here, bring the spring paint over here. Give it one last whoop. And we're just gonna pour this in there. Nothing fancy. Um, just kind of start in the center. Just kind of let it go. Still got some yellow. Here in a minute, and it's okay if the cheesecake comes up, comes up above the little makeshift graham cracker wall that I built. Um, if any luck at all, this pan will release once it's finished. Cooking, there we have it, got all that out of there. Basically, you're just gonna kind of do this, you know, whatever this procedure is called. I call it patent it. You know, there's probably some technical name in the food world. I don't know what it is, but anyway, get all that off. And then basically, what you want to do is just kind of pat it. And what that does is any bubbles of air that are inside will kind of come to the surface and pop. Really didn't have any. Um, so we got it nice and smooth and uh, we're ready to go so basically what we're going to do now is uh, wait for the smoker to heat up it's probably close it's been going for about 20 minutes and then we're going to throw this in there and then we're going to let it run like I said around 300 325 degrees using cherry wood and uh, we'll check it probably in about 30 minutes 45 minutes to see where we're at and then uh, <clears throat> you know once we get it out of there and it gets finished we'll uh, we'll bring you back and uh, see where we're at and then like I said we'll let it cool down um, close to room temperature and throw it in the fridge for a few hours to kind of let everything set up and we'll bring it back out and finish it off so uh, everybody take care stay tuned be safe stay healthy all right guys welcome back as you can see um, this is 30 minutes into the smoke the, the cheesecake now I decided to put it on an aluminum pan uh, cover uh, just to keep it off the grates but uh, you can see around the edges I don't know if you see that now it's starting to really brown up real nice it's looking really really good um, i'm really excited to get this thing finished and uh, get the cherry stuff on it and really dig into it but for now that's this where we're at which looks like and we're running at about 300 degree 330 degrees right now so i'm um, gonna get this lid closed back down on it and continue to cook and we'll probably go about another 30 minutes and uh see what see where we're at all right see you soon hey guys welcome back here it is an hour and a half into the cook and I believe we have a finished cheesecake. We're almost finished. We've still got uh, a few hours of resting and cooling. But as you can see, it's got a nice tan color to it. And it did crack a little bit um, on the left side of it there. And, you know, a little bit around the edges. But uh, for the most part, man, we're there. Uh, still a little bit uh, jiggly, I guess you would say, in the middle. So I think, uh, you know, it looks like the, the edges are set really nice. So we're going to go ahead and pull it off. We're going to let it rest cool down a little bit and then we're going to throw it in the fridge for a few hours and then let it cool down and then uh, we're going to bring it back out throw some uh, cherry uh, pie filling on top of it then cut into it and see where we're at so there you have it an hour and a half later on the uh, drum smoker using uh, royal oak lump coal with uh, cherry wood for the smoke so we'll talk to you soon take care all right guys here we go final product um, we went ahead and put the cherries on it earlier today and then kept it in the fridge just to kind of get that uh gel to kind of stiffen up a little bit. It was sitting in a can on the counter, so it's kind of warm. But basically, this is a spring form pan, and for, you, uh, for those of you that don't know how this works, it's pretty simple. 
this clip here, you just, it's got a base that goes in it, and then you clamp that closed and you put everything in there. And then to uh, clamp it like that, and then when you want to remove the, the cake, you just unpop it and it just expands and lifts it up and away you go. So here it is, uh, we've already taken it out, got the cherries on it like I said. So we're going to go ahead and cut into this and just see what's going on and uh, what it tastes like, you know, how it's set up and all those good things. So without further ado, here we go. Ooh, it cuts really nice. Let's see what we got going on here. Smells really, really good. Let's get that out of there. Get that bad boy on a plate. Man, really looks good. So, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I mean, it's set up real nice, nice and creamy. Um, so we're gonna grab a fork and dig into this thing and just see what it tastes like. So here we go. Here goes nothing, people. Oh man, really creamy, really good. Got that hint of vanilla in it, cinnamon in the crust. Probably use a little bit too much cinnamon because you can really taste that. But, and the cherry smoke just really brings out the, uh, the cheesecake, amazing. Um, you know, this is just really a plain cheesecake base recipe. You could do a thousand things with this thing if you wanted to, you know, I don't know. Throw some caramel in there, throw some strawberry sauce, mix it all up, whatever. And then uh, smoke it, maybe some nuts of some sort, pecans or walnuts. And then, uh, you know, mix it all up and then uh, smoke it. Um, so just kind of recap what we did. Uh, cheesecake, obviously, use the graham cracker crust, mix it up a little bit of butter, some uh, pinch of salt, sugar, and then cinnamon form the uh, crust in there, and you can kind of see the crust going up the side, kind of built like a little ball. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I did it anyway. And I cheated and used the pre-crushed graham crackers. If you wanted to do your own, I don't know, 15, 20 graham crackers, put them in a food processor, and away you go. But anyway, I mixed everything up, threw it in there, we smoked it on the drum smoker, using some sherry wood and some uh, royal oak, and we ran the smoker about 330 degrees, and it took right at an hour and a half Pulled it off, just kind of let it set on the stove behind me for about an hour till it cooled down, and then stuck it in the fridge all night. Pulled it out this morning, threw the cherry stuff on top, left it in the fridge um, until now, and uh, pulled it out, took it off here, and you can see it. Um, actually, very, very good. I'm quite surprised. I did not know what to expect. First cheesecake we've ever smoked. Um, have ate many, many cheesecakes in our time, but uh, never smoked one, so actually quite impressed with the way it came out. So anyway, um, make sure you hit that thumbs up uh, and uh, hit the subscribe button so uh, you don't miss out on any future videos. Who knows what we'll be smoking next. So until next time, guys, stay healthy and be safe. See you soon.